To create a ring donut chart, we can use a trick to get multiple mark layers, creating this gradient effect. On this worksheet, I'll start by creating the basic structure of a pie chart. And I'm going to start by showing what these metrics look like, since they're binary fields. For example, the on-time field has values of 1 for on-time orders, and 0 for not on-time. So this allows me to calculate percentages directly without segmenting the data. Whereas with a field like sales, I need to segment it by a field like category to show percentages for each group. So to get the percent of the on-time orders, I can pull measure values into the marks. And we already have the sum of on time as a metric, which will represent the total portion of orders on time. So I'm also going to type in the measure values, the count of on time minus the sum of on time. And this will give us the portion of orders that are not on time. Then I'll remove all the other measure values. I'll change the mark type to a pi and make the measure values determine the angle of the pi and the measure names determine the color of the slices of the pie. So you can see the blue portion of the pie represents the orders on time, and the orange portion represents the orders not made on time. To get multiple marks on the same plane, I'll use latitude and longitude to create a spatial view. Then I'll create a calculated field called makepoint using makepoint of zero comma zero. This creates a point at 0, 0, which I can use as a fixed position for all my marks. Then I'll drag the makepoint field into the marks. To add multiple mark layers, I'll drag the makepoint field into the view again and add it as another mark layer. And I'll keep repeating this for as many layers as I need. This is allowing me to stack multiple marks on the same coordinates. I did it four times in this example, one for the donut and three for the rings but you can add even more layers. And we don't need the longitude and latitude anymore, so I'm going to remove these. And since I'm adding three rings using the pie chart structure, I need to go to the ring marks and transform them into pie charts. I'll add measure values into the marks and then change the mark type to a pie. Then I'll make measure values determine the angle and pull in measure names so it can determine the color. And I'll do this really quickly for the third ring as well. Since the first mark is going to be for the donut effect, I'm going to change the mark type to a circle. Then I'll go through and increase the size of each pie chart, making each layer behind slightly larger than the one in front. And by using color within the marks, I can decrease the opacity of the pie charts to give it that ring-like effect. Then I'll use the legend to edit the colors, and since the count of on time minus the sum of on time represents the portion of orders that are not on time, I'll make this a gray color. For on time, I'll choose green to represent the portion of orders that were on time. And for the innermost circle, I'll go to the circle mark and I'll change the color to be white. To get the percentage of orders that were on time, I'll type into the marks the sum of on time divided by the count of on time. Then I'll change this to a label and format the number so that it's a percentage with no decimals. To format the text itself, I'll use label in the marks and center this horizontally and vertically. Then I'll edit the text and make this size 11 font and Tableau regular. While I use the ring donut chart here to show the percentage of on-time orders using a binary field, you could also use it to represent progress towards a goal, like a sales target.